Okay, in this question, they've given us a diagram and they've told us that point A has coordinates minus 2, 0, point B has coordinates 0, 4, point C has coordinate 5, minus 1. And they're, they're all in the diagram, right? The question says, find an equation of the line that passes through C and is perpendicular to A, B. Okay, so it's perpendicular, that means it's at right angles to AB. However, from your coordinate geometry work, you should realize that as soon as they start talking about perpendicular lines, right, what you're talking about is the gradient of the lines and certain facts about the gradients of perpendicular lines that you should know in advance. But let's start putting this information on the diagram. I know that point A is minus 2, 0, so I'm going to put that there on the diagram. I know point B is 0, 4, so I'm going to put that there. And I know what point C is, so I'm just going to label it over there, 5, minus 1. So what I've just done is gone around the diagram and labeled up these points. If I look at what point A is, minus 2, 0, that means that that point there is 2. Okay, that point over there is minus, well, minus 2 is that point there. And over there where B is, that's positive 4. Okay, so those are their values on the axes. Now, one of the first things I need to do is to work out the gradients. And so I'm going to think rise over run, or difference in y's over difference in x's. Okay, and in this case, I could do this two ways, and I'm going to show you both ways. If I look at this triangle here, all right, that's the rise, which is 4. The run is 2. Okay, so that's going to be 4 divided by 2, which will tell me that the gradient is 2. So 4 divided by 2. So that's one way of looking at it. But the other way, and one that you should be really, really confident with, is that the gradient is the difference in y's over the difference in x's. Okay, so the difference in y's, if I look at b and a, right, the y's, the y coordinate of b is 4, the y coordinate of a is 0. So that's 4 take away 0. The difference in x's, the x coordinate of b is 0. The x coordinate of a is minus 2, so that's the difference 0 minus minus 2. Yeah, minus 2 is the coordinate of a, yeah, the x coordinate of a. And if we just work that out as well, 4 take away 0 is 4. 0 minus minus 2, a minus and a minus make a plus, so that's the same as 4 over 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, just as we got when we looked at rise over run. 4 divided by 2. Okay, so really important point here that you worked out the gradient of AB. The gradient of AB is going to be 2. That means that the gradient of the line perpendicular to AB, and that's what we want to work out. We want to work out a line that's perpendicular to AB. So the gradient of the line perpendicular to AB is going to be minus 1 over 2. So it's minus 1 over the reciprocal right, of AB. So you flip it. 1 over 2, and it's always minus that. So this is a fact that you need to know. right? This is how I can interpret the gradient of the line perpendicular to AB. The other thing I know is that that line, the line perpendicular to AB, has to go through C. And so its equation is going to look like this, y is equal to mx plus C. I've just worked out m, the gradient. Yep, so I know the gradient is minus a half. So, so far, my equation of the line is y is equal to minus a half x plus c. I've just replaced the gradient, m, with minus a half. Okay, I've picked marks, marks up as I've gone along here. I know the line goes through c, and c has coordinates minus five, sorry, c has coordinates five minus one. Right, this is on the line that I want to work out. So I'm going to substitute in there for x is 5 and y is minus 1. x is 5 and y is minus 1. I'm going to put those into the equation of this line here, right? Because I know the gradient is minus a half. I just need to put replace x with 5, y with minus 1 to help me work out what c is going to be. And here's what I've done here. So I replaced y with minus 1. I've replaced x with 5. Working this out, Minus 1 is equal to minus a half times 5 and minus 2.5. Get rid of that minus 2.5 well, 2 plus c. To get rid of that minus 2.5, I need to add 
2.5 to the other side. Minus 1 add 2.5 is 1.5. So C is 1.5. My final answer, therefore, I'm just going to replace C in this equation here with 1.5. And here is my final answer. Y is equal to minus a half X plus 1.5. This question does need a bit of getting your head around. You do need to understand it. It is quite a high level thing, right? Make sure you do understand it and you are able to do it.